Hello and welcome to another episode of Nepal Traveler Travel Trade Talk. Today we are in this wonderful paradise, uh, Dusit Thani Himalayan Resort in Dulikhel, and we are here to interview the host, uh, Mr. Anurad, who is the manager of this resort. So welcome to our show, Anurad. Thank you. To start with, maybe you can tell our audience a little about your journey in tourism, how it started, and you've been across a number of countries working. I've been to a lot of places, and then, uh, yes, uh, it feels like yesterday. I started my journey with uh, hospitality back in 2005, and uh, my first job was at front office. Uh, I worked through the ranks, and then working in different uh, departments, have had uh, different uh, assignments also. So the highlights I would say is that uh, the job enabled me to travel a lot. So when I was back in India, I, I did not know that the company is going to grow so much and I'll get to experience that kind of extensive traveling. So I was based out, uh, I was with this company which is now uh, the third largest hotel company in India. When we started, there were just two, three hotels at that moment. And then they were growing. So I was being sent to different places. For six, seven months, I was in Goa, then two, three years in Bangalore, Chennai. So I think I've covered all the cities in India. And then uh, it was a good uh, opportunity and learning curve also. The highlights of my career has been that uh, uh, revenue management I was associated with. So I've done a lot of revenue management. Then uh, I've done pre-openings of big properties, 250 rooms plus big banqueting. That's one. And then uh, I've also had the opportunity to uh, be part of the team when we launched the loyalty program of the company. And then uh, we were doing good. Pandemic, there was a pause. <laughs> And then there was an opportunity. And then I realized that why should not I uh, look forward for more experience. So then I got the opportunity to work in UK. I was there in UK for good five years, three, three and a half years in Scotland. Amazing place, amazing experience. Then I was in England, Northwest, which was uh, Liverpool and uh, working with different brands, international brands. So now this opportunity came through and I wanted to be close to home because uh, the hospitality is is different in Europe and uh, I'm a very passionate person when it comes to hospitality and uh, of course I wanted to be associated with a brand uh, like Dusit because uh, it's a premium segment and uh, the exclusivity in a way I would say uh, opportunity came through and, and I just went for it so here I am sitting with you today three months in Nepal loving it every day that's about my story <laughs> So what made you choose tourism? I mean, back in the first, uh, perhaps, job that you went into, what well, what was it that made you choose? To be honest, then it would be a cliche, sort of, uh, I come from a middle class uh, tier two cities where every parent's dream was for the kids to become an engineer or become or a doctor. doctor. I was never so great in academics, but I have had few other skills which helped me through my journey. So... Yes, uh, my heart was never in uh, any of those uh, fields and hospitality is what I pestered my parents that why not hospitality? It's a growing market and, and uh, I think that this is something that I would want to do. They were very forthcoming and, and uh, understanding. They said, all right. So that was one. And uh, the place where I come from, uh, the city is uh, Rurki, a small town uh, in India. Nearby academic town was Dehradun, so that's where I went to study and a lot of exposure. And plus with that traveling, working in different places, different cities, I am glad that I've had that kind of exposure because uh, cultural diversity, I have understood the meaning of it. It, it helps you a lot in your personal uh, growth also and professional growth also. So that's given me quite an outlook towards life. Of course, hospitality being the passion, it has helped me out all this while. And you've worked in most of the parts of India in yes. different properties. From your experience, I mean, what is it that the Indian tourist would like? What are they searching for? Well, India's out. are, uh, I would call it conscious travelers, uh, value for money. This is how India's uh, demographic, tourist, tourism demographic looks like. 
value for money uh, discern tra travelers that's one uh, plus the basic what i believe in a hotel and we are not talking about uh, a luxury brand like those it but uh, the basics uh, for uh, a hotel to get right is uh, comfortable beds good breakfast and internet these are the three basic things if you got it right then hospitality and hotels they are based on their three p's we call it people process and product so people is more most important uh, then comes the processes equally important then comes the product product they say is important but yes i believe so is important however it's your people and the processes that, that makes comes. the hotel so people uh, and i always believe that uh, we should hire for the right attitude skills we can train them any time mm -hmm. so that's how i see at hospitality industry we have to invest in people trainings everything so that's uh, what i believe in working you, in hospitality <laughs> you also worked in scotland in uk yes. uh, what was that experience like i mean what do you bring from that experience well global experience i would say how internationally uh, hospitality uh, is uh, functioning of course given uh, the uh, given the manpower the talent pool, talent pool is the biggest uh, challenge i would say at this moment what the industry is struggling especially after pandemic so yes that's one and uh, working in different location in scotland also i was moving a lot then in england the, though it was just one location but then you get to work with different uh, kind of talent pool and uh, the best uh, I, i would call it the best practices so i've learned a lot how uh, they are ahead in terms of technology Europe is uh, ahead of uh, everyone in terms of technology how industry is working functioning however something that goes amiss is uh, the personal touch so that's what you will get here in subcontinent southeast asia so that's coming, the plus part <laughs> coming to south asia coming to nepal mm -hmm. how did you get into the duset would you like to share that story because this is a new property duset is now in nepal it was just uh, something that after spending so many years in uh, uk i thought that uh, what's next for me what is the learning uh, like what's there for me to learn uh, more and the uh, growth curve so i always uh, adored admired duset as a brand i've been following uh, duset for a very long time given that what the brand stands for uh, the opportunity came through uh, and uh, there were of course several rounds of interviews and then i was keen i was showing the interest and it just clicked so i'm glad i'm here so did you visit nepal before coming officially no, as manager I, i'm not I, nepal. this was this is my first time in nepal And and how has the experience been? You've been here three months yes, in Nepal. Yes, three three and a half months, and uh, it's like home. I do not feel that uh, I'm somewhere uh, a different place. It feels right at home. And now that perhaps you've had some time to settle in into Nepal, mm -hmm. looking at this property, which is sprawling, lovely property. It's it's mm -hmm. so relaxing. It's so much of positive energy in this place. Right. Would you like to share with our audience? what is so unique what's special why they should come here well uh, dusit uh, we believe uh, it's a blend of uh, what is a core uh, you know uh, usp is the thai uh, hospitality that we bring in so there are touches of thai hospitality which is uh, world renowned that's one second is the elements in the hotel you'd see are very uh, inspired by uh, thai culture that's okay. one second is uh, we uh, are a blend we bring in not just thai culture uh, in a very uh, uh, niche premium segment plus so we try to blend in the local flavors as well so that's what we are doing here the property is amazing uh, the energies are amazing in here and since i've been here i'm seeing that the market is also responding positively so that's a plus for me uh, what would you say to people even kathmandu people you know mm -hmm. business corporates in kathmandu what would you tell them to come to dusit in dulikhel to experience what come, is that uniqueness come to dusit to experience uh, the thai hospitality that we offer come to dusit to experience the state of the art and the uh, world class uh, wellness uh, that we've got wellness center
So Dusit, uh, one of the core pillars also is, uh, I won't say the core pillar, but Dusit uh, emphasize a lot uh, on wellness. So our wellness is uh, state of the art, uh, the, tra- the therapist, they are proper trained. We focus a lot on wellness. That's one and the experiences that we provide. Like uh, if somebody is coming to stay at a Dusit, there would be different experiences every day that uh, they'd be staying with us for, let's uh, say for two nights, three nights, they're staying with us. So all the experiences that the guest, uh, we curate all the experiences for a guest. For an example, the first day, we would set up a private uh, dining space for them. The second day, it is going to be a different place Place, than local farm visit. Not to forget uh, Namu Buddha, which uh, I keep uh, so much in high regards is uh, we are blessed to have Namu Buddha as a guardian, I would rather say. So we are very close uh, uh, to Namu Buddha. We call, call Namu Buddha as a guardian. So we are connected to them, uh, the monastery there. And then uh, that's also one of our experience that uh, we offer is if a guest is coming in here, we provide uh, a proper uh, guided tour to Namo Buddha and for them to sit with the monks and meditate. So these are the experiences that we offer. Okay. And it's out of the world. Talking about Namo Buddha <coughs> and the destination, Julie Hill, with Dusit, we complement, the two of them complement each other. But what would you say in terms of the destination Dulikil? Because it's not that far from Kathmandu. And uh, as a destination, how do you see it? more hotels coming up here, more areas of interest? What would you tell people? Well, Dulikil and especially our property, uh, we have sort of created a destination of our own. There's not much for anyone to do outside for our guest, but we've got so much of experiences that are uh, we, that are available in the uh, hotel resort itself. So uh, that is uh, enough in itself. And I would say that uh, we are going to add more experiences. It's just that uh, we are at a very early stage. Dulikhel as a uh, location, and uh, I would say Dulikhel is, uh, we are a weekend getaway and a retreat. <laughs> That's what we are. So from Kathmandu, it's uh, at this moment one, one and a half hours uh, drive uh, in the coming months is going to be cut That's down by half an exactly. hour, 20 minutes. So it's going to be much easier to uh, travel and then much more, uh, you know, accessible. True. So as the manager and you've been here for a very short time, mm-hmm. what would you say are some of the challenges that you see? In your role? Challenges, I look at challenges uh, as opportunities. So challenges, I won't point out uh, any challenge as such. However, uh, working closely with the local community, it's uh, an opportunity for us to give employment, train them, uh, like uh, partner with local farmers for, uh, for produce and everything. Yes, so this is something... It's a challenge also if we don't work hand in hand, that's one, but we can turn it into an opportunity, which we are doing already. We've been able to offer employment to a lot of uh, local uh, people around. And uh, in the coming days, in the coming months, uh, our number is going to increase. So that's the plan. Let's engage the local community and give it back to the community. That's what we believe in. I believe uh, Dusit was in a big way at the ITB, at international markets. Yes. On the marketing front, would you like to comment on what you are doing? We are doing, uh, like our head office is uh, based out of uh, Thailand. Thailand. There are a lot of, uh, uh, you know, there are a lot of initiatives been taken from there. We are getting good support from there. They are guiding us uh, how and uh, the market trends and everything. It's been quite, uh, we've had positive response in uh, Sathe, New Delhi and ITB also. We've had a lot of uh, European tour agents, travel agents come and inquire about us because Nepal as a market after pandemic, there was a little disconnect. And uh, from the response that uh, we have seen, uh, we've seen a lot of uh, people and uh, travel houses uh, inquiring and showing interest that they would want to restart traveling in Nepal. There is not just one market, I would say in particular, but there are many markets uh, which many markets uh, who has shown interest not just Europe I'm talking about I'm talking about Middle East also then India market is also going to grow up and I think it's the right time to be here because the only thing that I see is growth 
also how do you see wellness tourism because i think your property perfectly fits into that category yes. and that's a growing segment i believe right wellness tourism itself uh, i wouldn't quote the exact number it's a billion dollar industry in itself and uh, dusit uh, being uh, i would say industry leader if not the leader but we are one, one of the, the best one of the best uh, so i see that we have lot that we can uh, make the most of uh, the industry and then uh, we will be able to we are also trying to uh, you know offer and then reach out to the international markets uh, uh, to bring in wellness tourism wellness tourism is something that uh, we are uh, aiming at it's one of the priorities so that's the plan I'm done with my questions. Anything else that you would like to share with our viewers? I'm good. Thank you so much for the time and opportunity to speak to you and uh, covering uh, Dusitani Himalayan Resort in your episode. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you.